Okay, to start off uh, this next phase, um, I have to activate the um, German uh, formations. And I did draw two, uh, so the German will be able to activate two brigades in a row. Um, I do want to show you what I corrected though, because this is, I this is about playing solitaire and I can do this. Although if you're playing somebody else and you both noticed you missed this, you'd probably start over anyway. But um, this is the actual entrance point for the uh, 21st Panzer. And that makes an obvious difference because uh, you can go along this road, north-south road to get to Rainville. And um, so I, I actually pulled back and redid my whole first activation with the U.S. I uh, placed the CCR4 back to where it started, put these units, whoops, let's go back over here, put these units back where they're supposed to be when they started. So they did not move. I instead activated the second cav and then pulled back my screen a little bit. Um, to better protect Linville with uh, basically their, their recon units, but I, um, they're screening, so it's just causing a lot of traffic issues until the, the German can push those back. Um, and then I secured this bridge with uh, uh, this, uh, this tank unit, the EF-42, with the second cav. And I didn't put it in here proper because the, the German can't cross this river with any armored units, it has to be um, leg units. So he's going to have to come through this, this road and this bridge. So that's the only way I could secure that. Um, so now it's the German phase and they're, they're going to activate this 21st Panzer, they come on this turn. Um, I also did, I should note that I took, relocated the trains for second cab up here because they were exposed to any attacks anyway, so they could have been bumped. I'm using the optional um, headquartered train jumping, so there's a chance that if a unit moves next to the headquarters, that the headquarters actually wasn't there and you can re replace it in another position without getting jumped um, or disrupted in the layperson's term. So uh, now it's the 21st Panzer will roll for Snafu. Should be able to um, get anything with a six or more. So Seven, so it's going to be plus one because the op optional. Oops, no, actually it's minus one because it's uh, they do have fatigue two and a plus one for optimal distance since they're starting in the entry hex. So that's partial. So it'll be half movement for the. Um, for the 21st Panzer, but they're gonna have to push this one out for sure, but they're gonna probably have to do this one first and then this one, because this affects these hexes. Um, so I don't know if we'll see if we can reach that far with half movement. Um, we've got one armored unit that could do something here. And that's um, one, two, three, four, yeah, we can. Oh, except one, two, three. Yeah, that's one, two, three, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. So they actually can't get there. They do have a two range, but that's on their non movement side, so um, they can't make it. That stinks. Well, that's why the U.S. did that. 
So I guess the first activation, we'll just um, we'll pray for a second one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, they can six, seven because they'll cut through the. Um, this is only one, so they'll they'll do that seven, and then they will show you the close up of these units here. They'll do one of their fire effects. This is an engagement. Now, if there's anything negative here, higher than seven, I think, um, it's going to be retreat three hexes. So that's a uh, six to a five. Three plus three, six, and five. Um, oh, I forgot to place an objective zone. Sorry. Um, and since we're doing engagements there, I think I'm going to place it here in case I can't really reach there. Um, maybe not. I'm not even going to bother placing an objective. And just attack, hope, hopefully get rid of that. So let's, let's hit a plus one. That's a 10. Um, target loss and a treat, but that takes the, the screen. Oh no, they do get a loss. It's only the both loss that goes into a retreat of three. So there's only one step here, so that is eliminated. Um, there's no advancement because it's an engagement, it's not an attack. Okay, so one down. Um, these, the Pioneer will... Those 88s will probably put in support, I think. Um, okay, one, two, three. I can't move this anymore, so pull back. So it doesn't, it loses one of its fire attacks, but that's okay. It did its job. Um, if it, it had full movement this turn, that would have been able to get almost to here. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah probably would have been able to get close enough to attack this too. Uh, so that was one, two, three, four, five extra movement point for the screen. And it can't do that, believe it or not, it can't get to there. And then we'll move one more in. That's okay to have two there. And then these will go here. And I'm on my headquarters. Mm. To here, it has to flip. Um, the 88s I'll probably put into support next turn. Um, and this stays here. Take the fatigue with me. Okay. So now we'll roll for it. Let's put this on top. Oops. Roll for second activation. I have to get a five or a six. Uh, first for fatigue. Um, I did have an engagement, so I have, have to roll anyone. Anything higher than a two will be okay. And I rolled a two. So now we're at fatigue three. It looks like, you know, the 21st Panzer looked like, wow, okay, it's, it seems big enough to push hard enough towards Lunaville, but um, with these screening units, it really does slow things down. Um, so let's Roll now. We've got our fatigue now. We have to roll for five or six. Roll to three. So this is done. And we'll go to our next formation because we get two formations in a row for German. We'll take a look and see what we can do here. 
Okay, next up is going to be the 111th Panzer. Um, this one has a better chance of doing some damage this turn, so let's roll for Snafu. We get a plus one for being fresh, plus one for optimal distance. Um, so should be plus two. Eight full opt uh, full activation. So we will. Um, this is a good one because we've got. You know, problem is this is in four, so I can't see through there. So I'm going to have to go up next to it. Um, So we'll take this, the strongest one, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven and a half, eight and a half, because of the screen. Nine, ten, because of the screen. Ten and a half, eleven and a half. Yeah, this can be close. Um, 12, 13, 14, 15, <laughs> I can just, I needed a full activation for that, so we'll focus in here on this uh, engagement, um, it's 7 versus 5, so that's a plus 2. <laughs> Um, and once more, I, I have two object now. I'm actually going to place, you can place it as far away as you want. I'm going to drop a double objective because I'm hoping I can actually get into there this turn. We'll see. This one is going to be a problem here, but let's just... Um, mm -hmm. can push this back it's just a headquarters but um, I mean if I want to get into a moon but let's take a check first yeah as far as I can tell um, I cannot make it to there with the other pans I mean I could have could have with this one but I don't think I could have attacked with this um, I don't think I would have had enough movement to get in here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine for the next one there, and ten for that next one there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, it it could not have reached there. It would need. It needs fifteen. So it doesn't matter if I saved this one to try to get it here. I couldn't have pushed this back. Good placement by the U.S. player, whoever that is. Uh, so we'll we'll continue with that engagement. Um, it's plus two, so I'm not going to place the objective, double objective. Six, seven, eight. Um, that's a both loss, so that actually that becomes a retreat. One, I think, um, unfortunately for the, for the German, I think you can go three X's away, even though you can't cross there. I'll double check on that, but I, I think you can do that. You can just pick it up and go three. Um, otherwise it'd be one, two, three. Let me quick check on the re Yeah, is it, it's been a little while since I've, I've played the DCS and uh, if you look at here, this unit, this unit was here and the priority is to go towards the headquarters and combat trains. So 
you just pick it up. The train isn't really a consideration, as long as the ending hex um, is okay terrain for this unit, which it is because there's tracks here. So, um, so that's okay. It's still screening, I believe. Um, so then when we got to move, it's still going to cause problems getting to Elena, but it isn't, it isn't as easy as it looks at first glance for the German player. Now I, I have to note if it seems a little bit arbitrary because if the German player had won the first die roll to see who goes first, they could have easily come in and taken Lunavu um, the first turn. As far as I could see, there's there was nothing, or at least get really close because there's nothing really blocking this um, on this side. I think there was a unit here. And, um, there was one here that I meant to, I, I think the screen didn't run out all the, but, um, it would have been a lot easier to get there. Um, but as it is, um, yeah, I don't think it's, once it moves, it just, it just moves its screen too, so. Okay, we'll move the 2111. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's within three, that says that's nine. Um, nine and a half, ten and a half. Um, 11 and a half, or 11, 12, and that's 13 and a half to there. Um, I can't really go any farther. Um, be nice to, I think, possible to move on those, tr those railroads. That's two points though. Um, let's quick, Double check, because I'd like to get to here so I can at least do a, an engagement against that unit. Um, so double check again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the screen, 10, 11, and then using the tracks is 12, 13, and the extra one is 14. I believe that's legal because I'm, I'm using the road all the way up to here and then <laughs> sneakily switching and getting to here. So that uses up all the movement points. And I will do an engagement, which is um, six to five plus one. Now, if I, this is again, kind of stupid, stupid things I'm doing. If I put a double objective, say, here on top of the headquarters, that's legal, um, or even here, I would have been able to use that extra bonus point. But so it's plus one, seven, eight, both lost, so it retreats three again. So I'll just pick it up and move it to here. And that's it, because he's he's out of um, out of movement points, so he can't, and there's no place to engage. Okay, so next movements I'll just count oh, these are all gonna be this is gonna be ten for this. Um one, two. Nine, ten. I'll have to stop there because of the screen. Um, and then I'll move the headquarters forward um, to here. Okay, and then the the stooges threes, which are right here. 
Um, I'm trying to get down to here. One, oh, one, two, coming, coming into view here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, this should be um, six and a half. Seven and a half with the screen, eight, nine with the screen. So he'll come to there. This is going to be a five to five. Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't put a double objective right there. It looks kind of stupid. I forgot that I had these units uh, on another entry hex. Um, inefficiency. That's a zero, I believe. And a six is both both loss, but switch to a retreat one. So we got the screen units out of the way at least. Um, I think I don't think they can go too much farther, but one. Just right to here. That's okay. Then we've got a couple of infantry units on trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we'll just go to there. And then uh, they're within range of the headquarters, so that's good. Move this to here. And then we'll draw for snafu. Or not snafu, the fatigue, sorry. No fatigue. Now we'll roll, roll for a second. And we need a five or a six. Got a six, so they do get a second activation. Um, this is good. So we'll roll. Uh, for snafu, they're still fresh. Um, their optimal distance from the train, combat trains. Um, this should be a plus two. Well, second activation is that Six, seven, eight, so it's actually a full one. This could be, this could be good. Okay, put that there. Um, now we have a full, so we can do a double objective. And we're gonna do, if I do this, because you, you have to put a, uh, an objective on the victory point hex if you intend to try to capture it and that that's a two hex range so these are affected this is effect all these units are affected for any kind of uh, engagements or attacks okay so um, let's take um, activate this Panzer unit, the 2111, and go this way. Um, okay, we're going to try to jump the headquarters, and now we check to see if the actual headquarters was there. Um, we have to roll for option of cheat. Soft jump, one to four. Five, so it actually is a hard jump. So I have to go through the. These are already ghost, so that's not going to matter. Um, there's no prepared events. I have to apply a coordination marker to the headquarters unit. Um, and. Retreat. 
um, three hexes, at least three hexes. Um, so let's put this here. At least three. Let's put it back to here. You can go that far. And then everything will go with it. Um, in this game, I, I'll show you maybe on another um, wrap-up video what I use for Last Blitzkrieg. There's some really great cards that you can use for the headquarters. Instead of stringing out, this is the way they kind of suggest stringing out diagonally or, or some such with with all the markers that go with the headquarters and there's some little cards I'll show you later on um, from last Blitzkrieg somebody made these and you can just set them near the area and you, you don't even have to be right next to the headquarter because it could get kind of congested but they're marked very well and you can put all these on the little card and it's all nice and snug and, and organized so I like the look of that um, but for right now, we're using it like this. So, uh, so it, the head card did a hard jump, took care of that. Now we're going to use a engagement against that screen unit. Let's hope for a high number. It's six to five. There's a double objective zone affecting that, so that's plus one. So that's um, plus two, seven, eight, nine, that's a hit. So this one is gone. So we've eliminated two screening units. We have one more fire event we can use and we'll try to get, get this one pushed back. It's got four steps on it, so it's not going to be so simple to eliminate. Um, We'll move to here. Um, I probably could have, hmm, well, with only four movement points, yeah, that's fine. Um, so it's six to five engagement, um, double objective zones, plus one. So plus two, eight, nine, ten. That is. Target loss and retreat. So this will go back three. Um, uh, I guess we'll put it there on the headquarters. Um, now we have to put a marker at three. So it's down to three steps. Um, this one is stopped now. Should be able to capture that hex. No, um, we'll take the uh, one eleventh in. Um, this is going to be two to here, and then three, four, five, and we'll go to here, and then we'll engage this unit. Um, so that's seven to five. That's plus two plus three. Nine, ten, eleven. Oof. That's total loss and retreat, of course. And this only had one step, so this is gone. That's not looking good. Um, he has still one fire event left. Um, and it's got a two range. So I'm, I'm gonna move into here. Have, have the, should have enough movement points. And then I'll engage this one from a distance. Seven to five plus two. Does not, it's not in the objective zone, but it doesn't need to be for engagement, so. So seven five plus two, seven eight nine, another target loss and retreat. This isn't it. Will do well. One two three, 
now it's down to two steps. Okay, and that will be stopped. And then let's move. Um, actually, we're going to move this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to get it in here and then we'll go into support next phase if it's still around. There, I should mention there's a rule that either the um, 1 13th Panzer or the 1 11th, which is, or yeah, here, has a possibility. There's a there's a um, five out of six chance that one of them are, is going to be taken off the board totally in the next turn, um, which may not be a big deal since I've already captured Lunavir. Um, so we move that there. We'll move these in to here. Um, actually, if I flip. One, two, three. Yeah, let's flip. Should still be able, yeah, there's no screen units, so not a problem. And then the pioneer unit will go to here. Let's flip that to one, two. Okay, so basically 111th has captured the objective and they all I have to do now is hold it, which I, that's doesn't seem like it would be that difficult, especially with these two units. Unless this this <laughs> formation disappears, so we'll see. Hey, just a little update on what the U.S. did in their activation. Um, let me go up to here. The CCR activated and they actually were able to knock this, uh, actually it's underneath, this panzer unit back on a couple of engagements um, with the 35th. And uh, they did lose a step in that. Um, they lost a step, they lost step in the first one and then they knocked him back and they lost another step on on the second engagement roll so they had to stop and then they moved they were out of that hex I moved in here with the engineers um and then this armored infantry unit moved into here did an attack um uh, inflicted well it was an, a situational retreat so it was in it's in a city hex and also across the river as well um and i used suppression from the support or for the artillery and um roll the situation or retreat and instead of retreating these units each lose a step and then the armored infantry lost a step as well um, so that's the end of that activation for the U.S. And it's back to the German side. All right, here's the activation for CCA 4th Armor. Um, just to show you what happened after the fact. Uh, let's uh, zoom in here. So um, I did get full activation for the CCA. Um, I had to roll for activation because um, they they start the game on this side. So this is considered a second activation. Um, the CCA for the A thirty seventh armored. We came to here and bumped this. German unit um, actually got a couple, one one hit on it, and it's gone back. Um, and then I did one more attack on here, a, a fire attack on those infantry units, and actually got 
get, I got to roll twice because you roll for each um, unit that's stacked in the hex separately. So I did get one hit on the bottom unit. And then they um, are still there, but this is where the CC or the A37s ended up. And then I moved this armored um, armored infantry forward and attacked um, the long Longmire, Logemire, or Longmire um, unit, and that came back three hexes. Um, let's move over here. So you can see whether where that retreat happened. Um, by the way, I, well, first of all, I guess I should say that the the uh, 15th Panzer Grenade tried to roll for uh, activation and couldn't get it because they had to get a 5 or 6. So they were done, and that's why we got to move the CCA. And there's not much else they could do with this. They would only have the two units. Um, I did think about one concept that I, w I wasn't understanding this, um, in that you have on this move side 16 and it's tracked, um, I assume like half tracks, and it's attack capable and it has a four action rating. And I thought, well, why would I want to go to here? Because it's the exact, it's still attack capable and it has a four action rating. Well, the difference would be in terrain. If, if this unit was, um, let me back it up over here. Cause th this is an issue over here. Um, because I cannot cross this river without a bridge or a, a road. But if I had this armored infantry unit here and it started its phase there and I flipped it, um, then I could actually cross that river in this mode. So that's the advantage of flipping. You think, wow, 16 movement factors, which is great, but um, that's the mobility of getting it to an area you need. But this is when you actually have to dig in and get past some of those terrain barriers that the tracked units cannot cross the river. So, um, and I'm not sure, if, I, I mean, I could have moved this, I guess, to here. Um, I couldn't get the second activation because this was the second activation. So I couldn't have done anything this turn if I had moved it over here with the 16 factor and then flipped it on the next turn or the next activation, but that's not going to be till next turn. So I just opted to push this back and um, get a fi another fire attack in there. So that's the um, CCA fourth armored. And remember, these are buddies with with the um, CCR, so they don't have to worry about crossing the streams. And then, and then finally, the uh, end of the turn saw the 113th Panzer moving. Uh, they only got one activation, and that was a. They were. They did have a plus one. Um, actually, well, yeah, uh, they had a positive modifier for the snafu roll, but they ended up rolling a three, so that was still only a half. Um, half activation. Um, so they'd have the movement points, they didn't do any objective marking, and this is as far as they got to here. We roll up here with the armored unit. That's it. And I don't, I don't know, it all depends on what happens next turn. Um, as far as the roll to which, if there's a, a panzer formation that's going to be taken off the board, so it'll be either this one or the 111th, which is the one that captured the victory objective. Um, 
So that's the end of the turn, and we only have one more turn left. And we'll figure out replacements and reinforcements and get back to it.